This grand finals match. Take it away. All right, guys, we are about to start the winner's match between Larry Lohr and Zero. And, woo, yeah, yeah. Now, if you wonder what everyone's so excited about, they are competing for, A, this belt that I can barely lift, which is pretty amazing, and $2,500 in cash. Guys, I know it's been a long day. How are you feeling? Feeling all right. Seeing that belt, it just, it revitalized me. Oh, I mean, I honestly want this belt at this point. I just want a 40, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Do you guys have any strategies? I mean, you guys played earlier. Do you, did you learn anything from that? How are you feeling? Definitely did learn a few things. So, had had a few moments to reflect on, on that loss. And I think I, I think I'm going to give you a good run. Zero, you're undefeated. How are you feeling? I just hope he messes up and then keeps messing up and it, it should be it gets, it gets worse. I like it. Well, guys, let's get this match started. Take your places. Woo! It's time, ladies and gentlemen. It is certainly time. I cannot wait to see this a rematch of Zero versus Larry Lur Fox. And it looks like he might be switching colors, or maybe he's not. Or maybe he'll decide to go Donkey Kong. I mean, he did go Donkey Kong against Void, and he did pretty darn well with the character, right? Oh, yeah, two stocks. So I feel like it's definitely an option that he could choose. But one against Diddy Kong, I'm not too sure. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a little suspect. So right now, I feel like maybe the safest pick between both of these guys is to opt for their main their main characters you know their go-to's mm -hmm. and then from there depending on who wins the first game that's when the counter pick war ensues you'll see players either change characters or st end stages or stick to their characters and just change stages so we're going to see what's going to happen i believe final destination will be the first stage it looks like we have the reticle right now on the stage everybody's waiting it looks like it's going to be Final Destination. Both oh, of yes. these players are really confident on the stage. You'll see them play it often against other players, and now it looks like they're both going to it themselves. So let's see if Larry can bring this back, get his rematch, and get his revenge against Zero. Okay, and already the crowd going wild because they're excited to see what's going to happen between both of these players. And the same can be said for both Kataro and myself. You know, we're fans of both of these guys. We can't wait to see what's going to happen. Every single set that they have is unpredictable. You never know what's going to happen. Oh, yeah, you never know how either person is going to lose either. But I like how Zero is using a second jump to avoid the fair foot still. Both, both Void and Zero are avoiding that fair foot still. You see barely any of it now. Before, Larry was doing it every single set or every single match. Now, these guys know for sure to avoid that, and they just keep jumping. I notice how Larry is actually alternating the height of his side Bs when he's recovering, right? Uh-oh, beautiful. Look at that, just piecing it together little by little. I like how he's using the side B at earlier percents because I think Zero's just not expecting that and he's racking up damage. A lot of Foxes like to use the side B at higher percents to get a follow-up with an up air or back air, but Larry's mixing it up and it's better because he's not at KO percent himself, so it becomes really safe. Or it, it does not, because <laughs> right there, he got immediately punished by the down tilt. Oh, and there's the down tilt to the up smash, but the stock is not quite gone yet. Zero runs it back after getting that banana pull. Ooh. Nice. Ooh, that was a beautiful read coming out from Zero, predicting the air dodge and getting the up air. That was a late air dodge, too, so Zero waited quite a while to yeah. get that punish. He actually just looked into his heart. He's like, you know what you want to do? Do it. Do it. <laughs> and Larry sure did do it. Oh, these safe backers are working out so well. His aerial game, I feel like Fox is a hard character to get aerials on, but he did about five in a row and got them all to punish. And Larry just, he can't get the edge guard right now. Zero just pushing him off of the edge, and there it is. Crossing him up with that roll, it always catches people off guard. You know, he's, he doesn't use it as much, uh -oh. so. Oh, uh -oh. boy. This might be it. The spike, the spike. Oh, instead of pack here, a double jump pack here. That was fantastic from Zero. Getting a two stock looking very similar to their winner's final set where Zero just dominated the first game. This guy, Zero, is trying to let people know that at the end of 2016, so don't forget that he is still number one. Oh. You know, screw what everyone thought. Screw what you heard. That's what he's trying to say. But, I mean, Larry Lur, He's still trying to have a conversation with Zero as well. He said, no, actually, I think I can do this. I'm going to go to Town and City, and I'm going to show you what these up airs are about. This is a stage that he got very close to taking a match off of Zero, so I would not be surprised to see him do much better at least, or at least not get two stock. So we'll see this time around, but he has to watch his recovery because Zero keeps capitalizing on it, and that's what's getting him these early KOs. Oh, indeed. 
Every time Larry Lur is off stage, you see Zero with the Forda, with the down tilts. And those claps, those kicks, they just keep Larry Lur trying his best to keep uh, to continue to get back on stage. But now Larry Lur, it's just he has his dash attack train going with Fox. He's doing a lot better this time oh. around. I know he's likely going to wait for Zero to side be back on the stage, but he still has stage control. He still has a lead by like 40%. Oh, that was so good. I noticed he's doing really well by mixing up with the roll to get behind Larry. Oh, and here's the chase. Look at that. He's looking for the forward air. He's always looking the forward air at Larry whenever he's off the stage. Nice DI right there. Went straight to the right side just to make sure he could stay alive. But right there, that backer kind of looked fake, huh? Yeah. <laughs> that, <laughs> that did was not like, look like it was supposed to Sakurai work. Sakurai hitboxes. But, but Larry getting the neutral air into up smash. Good stuff for getting that KO. This stage is definitely working in his favor once again. But can he clutch it out this time? We'll see. I mean, he has the dash attack. Ooh, it looked like he tried to follow Zero's drift so he can get an up air. But right now, oh, Zero getting caught. So if you notice, when Zero's moving forward, of course, He's not blocking, right? So that allows Larry Lur to catch him off guard with the dash attacks. Zero striking with that back air, though. Tying the stocks. This is still game two with zero up one. Uh-oh. It is so amazing to see how he decides to forward throw Fox instead of doing the up throw just to get him off stage. It seems like Zero's always going for the option to get the early KO by doing the interception off. Ooh! Ooh! Okay. That was pretty sick, but Zero is not leaving yet. Wow. Ugh. Every time you see Zero land a down smash, sometimes you wonder, is it over? <laughs> and, we'll see. Uh, missed timing of the up tilt. He did get the read, but Zero's able to block it. And now it's 99% already. But Zero being a little overzealous, going for that forward air way off the top. Zero staying grounded. Doesn't want to get caught by any running up smashes. Oh, but Ooh. there it is. He was in the air. And Larry Lur with the up smash, tying it one and one here in the series. Wow, seems like Town and City is definitely a stage for Larry Lur. I feel like anytime he picks a stage that has a very low ceiling, that's where he does a lot better. Um, whether it's with DK or if it's with Fox. So I feel like we'll see a stage that has a high ceiling, since it is Zero's stage choice now, uh, due to Larry winning the last game. And we'll likely see Duck Hunt once again. Yeah, this is definitely Zero's counter pick of choice. I've seen him go for this stage time and time again after losing a game to uh, any player, you know. Uh, here it is, immediately going for the fourth throw, and this time recognizing the DI from Larry Lair. Oh, he just didn't, he didn't even go for the forward air. He just tech chased. That was pretty cool. Wow, he is looking very dominant. Zero this time around with these down tilts, especially getting about half the damage just from that alone. There's a spacing from Zero telling Larry Lair, you, you could dance around in this area. Oh my gosh, quick punish right there. That forward smash, dude. That was a really good forward smash. Um, uh -huh. A little shocky went for it. Maybe that's the one that has the best percent. But it definitely wasn't going to KO. And what? By Larry. Going really low to actually do that. And Zero almost caught him with the down air to uh, punish him. But here it is. Zero. He's scheming. Ooh. Okay, this is going to be a lot of damage. Oh, but he oh. tried to do a perfect pivot up tilt to move closer to Zero. Wow! Jeez, he just sweeped the floor right there. 42%. Two stocks right now and Zero in the lead. But... Right there, Larry Lur showing that he can use the shine just as intended. Ooh. Very nice by Zero deciding to jump. It's always good to jump against Fox. Air dodging is usually not the best option, and Zero already knows this. Good spacing. He's looking to see if he can possibly just catch uh -oh. Zero off guard with these attacks. But Zero, look at that, man, 27%. Oh. Oh, nice doing the full jab attack. Always a good option, especially when Zero's likely looking to punish for forward air after any time you hit a shield. Oh, so yeah, you know, it kind of pushed Zero off too, so I liked it. Great up air, and there it is. One stock apiece, 36% differential right now with Larry behind. Ooh, he got the trip of the banana, but wasn't able to get the punish with an up tilt. <laughs> I love the way Zero plays, just hopping around, looking for these forward aerials, and when Fox goes too deep, he gets grabs. You know, when it comes to this game, Smash Brothers, right? One of the main focuses is uh, just get the opponent off stage, you know? Ooh, nice. Okay, let's see if you can bring this back because it looks like Larry already has 78%, so he's pretty close to KO percent, especially if he can get the down tilt or Zero can get the down tilt into down smash mm -hmm. near the ledge. Larry has to watch his DI, be very specific about it. Oh my goodness, how did he get the fair foot? So we'll see a wall jump to it. Oh my goodness, is he going to recover? Oh! oh! 
Carol did Larry stop Zero from recovering three full times in a row on the side of the stage. Using the wall, Zero wall jumped nearly three times to try to recover and still was not able to. But that's crazy that Larry saw through each and every one and stopped him from coming back. Wow. It looks like the narrative that we have for this set is, uh, you know, Zero being from Chile, trying to take over Southern California. We have Larry as the sole guardian of Southern California. He is trying his best to make sure that Zero doesn't leave with the first place finish here at Smash City LA. So this is looking like, I believe, a 2-2 right now in uh, set count. So good stuff to Larry for doing much better than he did in the winner's final set, especially on this stage. This is like Zero's main counterpick stage. Zero just lost on it and he chose it again. That's how confident he feels playing here. Oh yeah, but after we saw what happened to Zero in the last game, Zero's gonna have to be careful, man. When it comes to recovery, Fox can really capitalize. It's funny, because Zero was capitalizing on Larry's recovery, right? Mm -hmm. And now it's, it looks like, you know, the tables have turned. Boom! Oh my gosh, he saw through the recovery and was able to get the spike. He hasn't gotten it pretty much this entire set, but this time around, it looks like he got it, and it worked out pretty well. Oh, yeah. You have to be very safe when you're covering with Fox. One mistake, and you'll be able to get punished by a dare from many characters. Zero said, stop blocking at the edge, man. <laughs> oh, and he looked into, he just peered into his soul, said, spot dodge for me. I just got it. Idler has to watch out, man. Zero's just really good at reading these habits from players. He'll get in your comfort zone and force you to use a defensive option. Oh, I love how he... <laughs> he's, just, <laughs> he's just chilling, dude. That was funny. That was very nice by Zero not opting to throw the banana really quick and just wait for Larry to do the shine. Okay. Ooh. Stay on the ledge too long, get hit. Okay. That should be death. Wait. Yeah, Le D D Zero had to opt for an attack to get Larry Lur away because Larry Lur was looking to punish. Oh, but this might be the end. If he can get one more up throw to up air, it could be it. Or even a down tilt, but Larry's not going to go out just so easily. He went for the F smash, similar to CDK, but wasn't able to get it to work. But he has to be very careful. I wonder if he was looking for nowhere to get up. Oh, man, this is going to be very tough. This is this could be the end of the entire tournament if Zero is able to take it. And he does have 120% lead right now. <gasps> oh! With a peanut! Oh, my gosh. Okay, it's actually, by the way, 2-1 in Larry's favor. So this will not be the end of the tournament if Larry or if Zero does win this. And it looks like it is not going to be end. This is 2-2. Two, 2-2 two. Two, two here in the set between both of these players. You know, the, the, the match was so hyped that, of course, anybody would be led to believe that that would be the last game in the set. Oh, but, yeah. you know, it, it is 2-2 right now. This is do or die. You know what it is? I think Zero is just so good that usually people just automatically assume that he's winning. Yeah, so yeah. they're like, oh, okay, Larry took a game? All right, he's probably still down by a game. But instead, it is now 2-2. Larry was up 2-1, and this could potentially actually be the last game of the set. But this is Larry's counterpick, a stage of platforms. You know how Fox is with platforms. Able to do all these uh, crazy combos and just do those safe up airs on the platform. So just hope to get Diddy Kong in the air so that he could punish him many times. Oh, so much damage being inflicted right now on Larry Larry. The wall of fares. Zero just dashing in and out, waiting for Larry Lur to overextend. But Larry, oh my how gosh. many up airs can you get? <laughs> a one, a two, <laughs> a three, <laughs> three. And Zero doing a fantastic job bringing us back. Seeing that roll read away with a fast side B command grab. Ooh, but that back air just immediately telling Larry to get off of his back. Oh my gosh, not yet though. It looked like it was going to be the end of the stock. There it is, that down tilt. You saw the range. Zero actually spaced that at max distance. Snuck it in, got the confirmation, and now this might be the end, dude. Ooh, very Ooh. nice. Did oh. not go for the full jab. I think Zero thought the full jab would happen, so that's why he kept shielding. Patient game right there, Zero. Oh my uh -oh. gosh! Uh oh. Uh -oh. Zero! Oh my, I don't think he'll be able to recover. I don't this think so. This is looking either. impossible. Zero's going way off the stage, doing a couple back airs. Will he get the spike? <gasps> nope, he's just going to keep running it back. What? what? <gasps> oh, oh, side B? But 100%, Zero still running it back. Looking crazy, dominant, the best player in the world, going way off the stage, trying to get the end of the stock, but Larry's not going to let it happen just yet. Definitely not. There it is, Larry in control, 130%. Is he going to even try to pursue Zero off stage? Missing the trump. Wow. Wow. Across the stage. Still alive. And downhill two forward air. Almost takes the stock. It's not the end yet. 
but 147%. What is going through Larry Lur's mind? Zero tried to see if he can end it in the cheekiest way possible <laughs> using the barrels. Okay. Very safe. He should be able to get the forward throw. Will not KO just yet. Good DI by Zero. Larry Lur is trying to play as safe as possible. Look at that. It's like, you could keep this edge. There's the neutral air. And not the end of the stock. Well, wow, neither character is actually being KO'd right now. This is very scary. Larry knows how much this counts. <gasps> and there's the back air. And that's the end. Gonzalo Barry. Play. It's such a close set going 3-2 this time around. Much closer by Larry, but Zero being able to clutch it out time and time again, even on Larry's own counterpick stage choice. That's it. Oh, such an amazing, amazing showing right there by Gonzalo Barrios. You know, TSM Zero just showing us time and time again how consistent he is. Never doubt his ability. This guy just came, just went straight through undefeated. Not losing a single set here at Smash City LA. This guy just came through to Burbank. He was like, hey, what's up, guys? And uh, I'm just going to clean up, you know, 